Hi, I'm the Grow Boss, and this episode of Garden Science is about using LEDs and the truth behind them. So, people tell me at the store LEDs work, people tell me at the store LEDs don't work. You don't know which to believe, right? And so, trust me when I tell you, they do work. But, there's a condition. So what's the condition with LED? And that's this. If you have an LED light, those little LEDs are like lasers. <clears throat> you have to grow right beneath them. So if you do something like this, where you have a very wide canopy, your LED light's not going to get any of this. You're only going to grow right beneath the LED. That means you're going to have to grow a plant that's like six feet tall, looks like this, and fits in like a one by two area, you know, like a little one by two space under that LED light, just like right here. When you look at what I did right here, you can see they're like lasers. They just go straight down and there's no way around it. <clears throat> you're not really gonna grow a plant that looks like, you're not really gonna grow a plant that looks like this big, you know what I mean? It's just not gonna happen, it's not feasible. So. Let's talk about how LEDs actually work. All right, this picture right here. You've got questions. My No More Grow More Fat Cards have answers. Everything you need to know to grow, guaranteed. Pick up a set at your local hydroponic store or from my website, thegrowboss.com. Here. Right there, that picture. Notice that LEDs produce a dense plant. We're like HPS lights. You end up hollowing out the interior of the plant and hopefully the buds kind of come up like that and stretch out and you kind of lollipop the bottoms in an effort to bring them out, right? Okay, you could use, <clears throat> as with a regular hood, you could use LEDs as secondary lights. You've already got the plant. Why not get, an, why not get a super dense and a regular HPS plant? If you put up a thousand watt light, you should probably put up like 200 watt LEDs on the side. They make great side lighting. All right, last thing is this image here. If you're on a four by four table, if you're in a, if you're on a four by four table in a, in a three by three tent, it's kind of tough to grow in the whole area when your LED is one by two. So what I try to show you guys is this, always put your LED on a light mover. And instead of growing in a three by three or a four by four tent, get one of those three by five tents that are kind of long like this. That way you can grow a couple of plants, hang an LED that looks like this and move it back and forth on a light rail. That way this plant gets some light, then it moves here then this plant gets some light, then when this plant gets too hot, she can cool down and the light will come back to this plant. LEDs are awesome. Just remember, they're kind of, they're kind of for supplemental lighting or put them on a light mover. And here's the big... And if you want more information on growing, you can pick up a set of my No More Grow More flashcards from my website, thegrowboss.com. It's everything you need to know to grow, guaranteed. And while you're there, check out my other products. Biggest problem that most people that run into, like they get a 200 watt LED. Right, and so they've got this Rubbermaid Tupperware thing that they put little two inch baskets in. Okay, you could take that LED and you could go stand all the way across the street and that light will still be this bright. However, if you were standing right here, you wouldn't see any of it because LEDs are really focused. That's what they do. They're really focused. So if you've got a 200 watt or a 225 watt LED <clears throat> and you've got this thing over one of those Rubbermaid Tupperware Walmart things where you do this and you put the bubbler in here and you do that and all that and it's nonsense because this 200 watt LED when your plant gets started it's only a 25 watt plant so you're giving it eight times the amount of light it wants and <clears throat> even if you were to put this light 
20 feet over the plants, it's still too bright. Remember, I just showed you, if you went across the street, this light would be so bright that you'd have to put your hands up. But right here, and right here below it, there wouldn't be any light. And so that's an important note about LEDs, is that you can't put an LED light high enough to deal with two little 25 watt plants. You could turn it down, but again, LEDs are so intense that your plant, it's just a lot of light for a plant. And so it just doesn't usually work out. Usually I see you guys, statistically, I see you guys in about 30 days or four months. And what'll happen is you'll come to the store and you'll tell me that you bought this LED setup and you're at home and you've got little cuttings and you've got your LED like 18 inches over the cuttings. Great. And then I always ask you guys the exact same question and that is this. <clears throat> how old are they? Why do I need to know how old your cutting? Every grower has the same questions you have. Every grower has the same problems you have. That's why I wrote the Grow Book and Equipment Guide. It's everything you need to know to grow. Trust me, you got a question about lighting? Let's talk about that. Check that out, how far away the plant should be from the light. You have a question about topping and super cropping? That's fine too. Let's talk about topping and super cropping. Look at that. I'm the grow boss, everything you need to know to grow, guaranteed. Watch my videos, buy my books, always shop local. These are, because if you've got a cutting that's two months old and it looks like this, let me tell you, your plant should be like in a five gallon bucket and should look like this, right? Your plant should be like four feet tall in 60 days. And so people got this little LED, right? It's 200 watts. Their plant's frozen, it's still green, Right? I mean, it looks like it's ready to grow. I mean, it's got no roots. I mean, it's got that one with some root rot on it, but they've got no roots, right? Because you've overwatered them. You've overfed them. Remember, nutrients are based on a thousand watt light. If you give them 200 watts, you better cut that nutrient by 80%. And so these are just the kind of ideas and using LEDs. These are the things that I see in my store. If you've got any questions, if you've got any problems, I'm the Grow Boss. Let me know. Watch my videos, buy my books, always shop local. Thanks so much.